what do you have to say about the film and your opinions about it? I thought it was good. I had in, um, I'm Salvadorian and, and I had, um, I was here for the election so I wasn't able to see it but I know that it was something that um, we were hoping for so it was nice to actually get to see footage from there. Okay, so for me it was a good view to see her here in front of Salvador so I think it's a pretty good view. 18 people were killed and 36 wounded in a fierce gun battle between anti-government demonstrators and the national police. The confrontation started when students, workers, and peasants linked to the guerrillas occupied foreign embassies and took over the national cathedral in the capital. This is a very well-made documentary, although I would have hoped there was uh, less of the people talking and perhaps more. Uh, closely with what's happening in some of the other parts of the world where uh, you can see the established uh, right wing parties failing in, 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 uh, in favor of the uh, more liberal uh, organization. Many, many young people don't know the really the truth of the Salvadorian uh, people. For me, this is a plan for to control the people because, uh, let's say, in Los Angeles, somebody went to there and uh, tried to free a group, uh, special Latin American people, and then then send it to special for El Salvador and send some guys uh, to Guatemala and Honduras. So, uh, and right there, they're already protected by the government. In a big business, it's security. If you in, impose the violence, the people need uh, security, right? So the rich people uh, in, uh, put a big business uh, like a security company to protect the rich people and uh, they put a lot of bodyguard. So the mafia not only control, not only control drugs, only they control uh, weapons. And they sell it, and the money came came to the this, 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 uh, this country, and the drugs the same too. So the mafia is very very important for uh, the power to control everything. It's good at their. He is a man of God. What should I do? What God wants? What is that? And a witness to violence in a country where no one is neutral. We know what they're doing out there, agitating, calling political meetings. The new government is riddled with communists. The priests are working with the guerrillas. Anyone who says what he thinks, they torture him, they kill him. Don't you see what's going on around here? Now he must choose between the compromise that will bring peace to El Salvador. We must find other ways. This is going to be interpreted as a political statement. You think I want to live like this? Jesus would not stand by and watch his people being murdered. We have the right to defend ourselves. You're not defending! You're attacking! And the action that will bring justice to his people. Raul Julia. In the name of our people. Well, the arena is, uh, is uh, really, uh, they start 20 years ago, but it's the same family. But uh, the leader of this uh, party was uh, Mr. Dawison, who command to kill uh, Reverend uh, Romero. You know that, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and they controlled the, the, the country for over 20 years. They took every scene and they killed many, many people in the name of the democracy. Oh, it's good because I see like a drug. You said uh, they they try to fight the drugs, drug dealer, but uh, they, they never ended it. Drugs, right? Why? Because it's a big business. 
And uh, who protect them? The government. Oh. See, Colombia, Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Costa Rica, they control the mafia. So the, the mafia, uh, they distribute the, the, the drugs, like in Puerto Rico, in Dominican Republic. They have a freeway to sell drugs to Miami and then Miami to different uh, part of the United States. So it's a, it's a, it's a liar it's a, who say that they want to end the, the mafia, the semana, they are liars. Yo sé por qué vos quieres hacer este viaje, pero todavía no sé por qué yo tengo que hacerlo. She was taking a chance to find a better life. Aquí no hay nada para vos, Aira. Nada. He was caught up in a world of brutality. But when he tried to leave his violent past behind, his own gang put a price on his head. And he met the one person who would change his life forever. La bruja tocó con voz de miedo. Vas a llegar a los Estados Unidos, pero no de la mano de Dios, sino de la verdad del diablo. Executive producers Diego Luna and Gael Garcia Bernal comes the first film from one of cinema's most exciting new voices. Tarde temprano Luzón lo va a encandilar. Vamos a correr la voz. <laughs>